<laughs> what up guys so this is just a random live stream I, i've been so damn busy with a bunch of stuff I haven't even had time to review these comics. So what I thought I would do was tell you what's going on. And I'm going to read one of them live. Oh, yeah. I'm going to read one live. Um, someone's going to win a set of comics from Black Box. So all you got to do is the best thing is to go to the comment section, not the live chat. Comment your like number. And I'll randomize or just make a comment. Any com, well, yeah, any comment, and then I'll do newest first, and then just I'll count the numbers. It's all good, uh, or whatever. But anyway, Black Box Comics reached out to me. Black Box, and said we would love to send you some books. We love what you're doing, and all that good stuff. And I said, sure. Send me some stuff that's fire. Um, my guess is I'm the only preview show that shows everything. So um, I talk about Black Box a lot. Um, so they sent me some stuff, and I'm super excited and super thankful to you, Black Box, for sending me some stuff. So in turn, I'm going to give away one of the sets. So this is what they sent me. They sent me Psycho List number one. Number two, these covers are fire, dude. <laughs> Number three, that was backwards, sorry. Number four, number five, and number six, six, which is sick. And they sent me It, The Secret World of Modern Banking. Number one, I think this is volume one. Number two, number three, sweet, this is cool too, like an Illuminati, number four, and number five. So what I'm going to do is, in the comment section, comment something, maybe put your like number or something like that, I'm going to send these away. I'll give it a couple days and I'll do a randomizer. Someone's getting the secret world of modern banking one through five for free. Okay. And thank black box. So in the description of the video, I put their link. Okay. I put their link to their site. So you can go check out their site, black box comics. Um, and I'm not sure if they're, they're not on my previews or FOC videos every week. Cause I don't, you know, they don't, I don't think they sent out every week, but um, they are in there. And that's my job. Full. That's my job. This is my job. If you guys haven't noticed by now, um, showing everything. And I plan on doing it. I know it's long. That's what she said. It's painful. She also said that. But it's my job to show you everything because everyone likes all types of stuff. And my guess is these books are pretty low print. So what I'm going to do is we're going to read Psycho List number one <laughs> together. If you have time and you're just chilling, please. This is the cover. The back. Writer Kevin Graveau. Artist Jonathan Lau. Cover Jonathan Lau. Colorist. Adriano Augusto, letters Desi Cienti, editor Demetrius Zaharakis. Cycle List was created by Demetrius. You can go to blackboxcomics.net. Of course, on my pre-orders videos, you can always 
on my FOCs, you can always, if there's something you like, you can call your comic book store and they'll have access because I have access to Diamond, Lunar, and UCS. I think I'm the only YouTuber that does. Everyone else is trying to find their books through other stuff. That's why they're missing these things. So if I go over something from Black Box and you like it, you can actually call your store and they can order it. And if you can't get it through your store, you can go to their site again, which is blackboxcomics.net. Okay. So it says, do you know what it's like to walk the corridor, corridor of a man's mind? I hope it's okay that I'm showing this black box. You don't want to walk in the corridor of my mind. Uh, although I'm pretty relaxed and sometimes crazy, like in my mind, I'm absolutely insane. Okay, it says, what it's like to search his darkest desires or see his innermost feelings like laid bare like an opening oozing wound. Ew. To view him as an open book ready to be read like a cheap paperback novel. Well, I do. I might not know what's in a man's heart. That's God's providence and his alone. However, I've kind of come as close as close as any mortal man, but nothing is worse as traversing the tunnels of your own depravity. So it's in Cairo, Illinois in 1985. Okay. Bear with me. It says, you think I don't know where you go after work and how long you stay? Stay away from me, woman. <laughs> oh, my God. I already love this book. Are you ready for this, guys? So they're having a little conversation, and then there's little black bars, right? <laughs> Listen to this black bar. Cairo, the place where pharaohs dwell. It says, that's what she said. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you guys, I'm a total fan now. I don't even have to read the rest of the book, but I'm going to. That's, oh, that's what they said. Close enough. <laughs> it says that's what they said, but my mind says she said. So there's a couple argue, arguing here. So the guy says, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. She says, I saw you with her. So basically, she's blaming him for cheating on him. Says, well, I don't know about pharaohs, but there was plenty of plagues, especially the one where the water turns to blood. Yes, there was plenty of that. Then he says, I said, shut up. And he hits her in the head with a beer bottle. Then it shows her kids in the bedroom hiding. She, one of the kids says, this is a bad one, Donnie. The Donnie says, ignore it. And then she says, I can't. The other girl says, I make it stop. He says, it's okay. They're talking about how he hopes that she doesn't he doesn't hurt his wife or their mom. Okay. This is gonna be good. I can already tell. Brian Criswell says this book is sick. So he read it. So oh, oh man. So basically, he hurts the wife <laughs> pretty bad. And it looks like he hurts the son. Some serious stuff. It says Monday at 5.30 a.m. Okay, it's over. It's switching to the main character, it looks like. He says, it happened again like it always does. And like so many times before, it always ends the same way. There was nothing I can do about it, just like back then. And then there was nothing I could have done back then. That's just life. Things happen. At least that's what I keep telling myself. So he's getting ready for work, this other guy, who I guess maybe envisioned what happened. I don't know. The day's work is always the same. A trip to the Bucks, a trip to the Bucks to get some hot stuff and a bun in my stomach. And walking the pace of a thousand yards to the job. Yeah, the job. Oh, 
Okay, so the wife has, I think it's the wife, has gone to see him. She's there. I think he's an officer for domestic abuse. So she's talking to him about what happened, and she says, My husband is 6'7", played tight end at university. Have you ever received a punch from a man that big, so hard that you feel every knuckle in his fist on your face? He's telling you to go to the cops. And they're discussing what she should do. Okay. Nothing better than a live review from Mr. Sickface. <laughs> if you could handle it. So this guy's upset about it. I think it's the same guy. And uh, he's basically going to the bar to get drunk, I guess, because he knows he can't do anything. In my mind, I haven't read it all yet, but he might turn into like a Punisher character, like killing psychos. I have no idea yet, though. And he's basically having some bar interactions. He meets a guy named Mick Mick, and they laugh about some stuff. Ooh. Okay, so he's picked up this dude at a bar, right? And they're going to go bet. Like, I think his reason was he was at the bar was to meet some guy that might be a bad guy, okay? So they're talking. I mean, they're, t oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm doing horrible, aren't I? They're in the bar on the uh, the white page over here. They're talking. They make friends. They talk about going to make a bet because he lost some money or something. So here's it goes. They're they're walking down an alley and the guy, this big dude, this must be the dude that she went. Okay, <laughs> what's up, Steve? Thanks, man. No, she doesn't, man. <laughs> uh, says this is the dead end. Yeah, about that. Your wife. Drianna Jones, how do you know her name? What is this? A reckoning. My fists grow warm and wet as bone strikes supple flesh, and I make sure he feels every knuckle. And when I'm done, I tell him, I, if he ever touches his wife again, other than to love her, I'll be back. And with that, I scratch off my self-described psycho list, and it's back to work. So the lady went to him. And told her this guy's beating him. This is a different story, I think, okay? And then, uh, oh, shut up, Kevin. Uh, so he tricks the guy to go in the alley, this big dude that was beating his wife. And he, like, beats the hell out of him. And he has a little list by my finger right here. And he takes it. So he's, like, taking care of business for battered women so far. So it looks like uh, Eternal Affairs or something's coming to see him at the office. He's going to take him down to headquarters. 
headquarters. So they're at the FBI building now, and he's talking to him. Okay. The only reason I'm bringing you in is because you were part of the behavioral science unit at one time. These are special cases in which a particular witness is so mentally damaged by a traumatic ordeal that impedes their cases. We've even had to let suspects go because of witness psychological damage. The Bureau has actually created a list of dead cases that have yet to be solved of these crazy incompetent witnesses. Look, there are cases that the Bureau hasn't been able to solve. And then the guy says, you mean like X-Files? He says, don't be a smart ass. So they're offering him a job. They're saying there's some sort of conspiracy. And then he says, this is ridiculous. Look, if you, the guy says, if you can get into the heads of some of these witnesses who know what you'll peel back the onion. Okay, so he's going to think about it. The FBI is offering him. Jeremy, we're reading Psycho List from Black Box Comics. So the FBI is offering him a job of, of list of dead cases that he can work. And this guy is basically a vigilante, and he goes and takes care of business. Now that he has left, and the FBI agents are talking about it, saying it's a bad idea. It's been two weeks now, and he went back to uh, talk about the job again. He's basically saying, no, I don't want to do it. Okay, so what the hell are you talking about, Coco? <laughs> I got your lisp right here. <clears throat> so basically, his little brother shows up. So basically, I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Of course, I have to read all the other five, but it seems pretty cool. He's kind of like a vigilante, and he takes care of business. Psycho list number one. Now, I know this is really boring to some of you. But I can read number one of the secret world of modern banking. It. I might as well because you guys are just chilling. So then again, again, this is Psycho List from Black Box Comics. I'll keep that so I keep reading. Now, someone that comments in the comment section is going to win these. Okay, I'm going to check out number one real quick since that went pretty quick. Now, they said they're going to send me more stuff. So we'll do more of these. I know it's maybe you're bored. Maybe you're having the greatest time of your life. I don't know. Maybe I could add something in here, a little bit of a something for you. What do we see here? My reading, you know, did you think my reading session was good? Okay, yeah, okay, that was good. We added there now. Let's check out it from Black Box Comics. It, yeah, secret world of modern banking. The reason I did this live is because I have a lot of stuff going on and a lot of videos. I've been filming my videos super early, and then I get super awesome news 
so they're not in the video. So I have to go back and like add links and ah, it sucks. Okay, it says leg legally corrupt. Oh, this looks like a lot of reading, a lot of word bubbles. Someone sent me a. Spoiler, I'm looking at a new Chin Potter cover, and it's sick. So get ready for that. I don't understand what that means. Okay. So uh, legally corrupt, deep below International Holdings Corporation. Oh, man, this is super detailed, guys. This is something that I might not be able to do a preview for. I'm going to have to read this. Or I'll, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save it for the winner and for it. So whoever wins this, I would love you to read it all and then message me. Like, tell me what it was about and how awesome it was. So what I can do, though, is I'll take another... Let's just take a deep dive into number two of Psycho List and just see, like, where it turned up. Because he was offered a job and he met his brother... It looks like the FBI guy will have the other guy working with his brother. I don't have Venom 27 yet. So let me look around a little bit. Oh, it looks like we go back to... Uh... Oh, check this out. Oh, spoiler number two, guys. So him and his brother are together. He says, lie back for what? Because I said so. Hey, what are you doing? Talk to me. I haven't done this in years. There was no need. But once I do, I immediately remember why. I call it mind walking. So when they're holding hands, they're looking back. It looks like. The family in the <clears throat> first story was their family. The dad killed the mom. So they're like in this weird realm right now. And then all of a sudden hell breaks loose and there's like this demon comes out. And they can't get out of this like mind walk. Uh, and they're finding like a truck full of women. Man, dude, they're doing some, like, telekinesis stuff in here. This is getting really interesting. Man, this is really weird. I don't know. I have a good feeling about it. I mean, even though I have all the books, I think it's already... Raven Fan, $5 Siaknya. Well, uh, those who have picked it up, I mean, as well, I'm going to look at number three now. We'll do a quick look so I can keep going. But look at that cover. There's like a whole bunch of women in a truck. Yeah. It's not as deep. Yeah, good luck on that. That truth box 12, guys, 15 prizes plus 
Ryan Kincaid was in there and added a special slab sign book, dude. Crazy. <clears throat> Bringing the sickness. Let me go through number three really fast. They're fighting. They go into the FBI agent office a lot. I'm probably missing a lot. I'm just kind of flipping through it. Yeah, I bet this issue is more like you got to learn. You learn a lot more of everybody in number three, and I'm just kind of skipping through. I don't know. I still think it's this is going to be pretty damn good. I'm interested to see what else they will send me, and when I have more time. I'll do more reviews of the book, uh, more black box stuff. But I had to get this video out because I didn't want to let them down. And I wanted to show them, uh, you know, I wanted to show some of their stuff because they were kind enough to send it to me. I mean, I guess I'll look at number four. <laughs> I keep looking. I can't help myself. Yeah, this is I, I feel like it has an X file file feels feel with the two guys together. Oh, looks like they're fighting now. They're upset with each other. Damn, dude. So uh update. For Tony Chambetta from EGS, he did a post today saying that everyone's stuff was graded, the Super Punchline Piazza covers, and they're all being shipped out uh, this week. And from what he told me, there was nothing under a 9.8, and of course there wasn't because I pre-screened all the books. Uh, and there were some 99s and there were some 10s. So good luck to whoever got those, and you're going to be getting 9.8s. Possible nine nines and tens, if I'm correct. But I don't really want to. Here's what I want to do. I mean, I could go live again, but I don't want to. <laughs> so, and I would love to talk to you guys. Um, but I, I don't want to make this video super long because it's about black box comics. So I would say for sure, check out black box comics. Um, the, the link is below. Um, this is Psycho List. It was pretty good. And someone is going to read. Now, of course, I need to read through these really good. And I'll try to do that for the next uh, review that I get with them. But someone's going to win one through five of It, The Secret World of Modern Banking. So please comment so you can get entered in the contest. And I'll give it a couple days. That covers fire. So is this one. A lot of people have read Psycho List. So, uh, in regards to the auction, top of the morning to you, Archangel. <laughs> uh, Friday, I'm going to do my Uh, final order cutoff video instead because we're doing giveaways on Thursday for the truth box and um, Saturday of course is the previews video look guys I have a stack of books like this different types of keys probably about 70 books um, I've just been holding off from the auctions a little bit and I have about 200 plus books at CGC and CBCS. So I will definitely be having a slab auction um, with fire stuff. Um, so that'll be soon. So good luck to everybody in the giveaway for this. Check out Black Box Comics. Thanks again, Black Box. I'm going to let you guys go. And that will be the sickness, quick sickness, 30 minute of the evening.